वेलकम बैक टू अक्षर आईडी फाउंडेशन क्लासेस ग्रेड सिक्स केमिस्ट्री आई एम योर केमिस्ट्री फैकल्टी एस मोहन सो स्टूडेंट्स टिल लास्ट क्लास वी आर कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज लैंग्वेज ऑफ केमिस्ट्री विच वॉज अ वेरी लेंथी चैप्टर विद ट्वेल्थ सिनॉप्सिस राइट चलो सो इफ यू आर परफेक्ट इन दिस चैप्टर then the meaning is what now the chemistry becomes very easy for you no doubt about it right but um, you have to keep on practice that okay so now i am going to start the second chapter that is changes around us very simple chapter it has a two synopsis and today we complete both the synopsis today itself right because uh, here there is a changes around us i think this chapter is there in your regular Uh, school syllabus also, and by this time I think uh, I hope that yeah, this chapter might be completed, uh, and it's very easy, you know. Okay, this is like completely general topic. Okay, that is uh, changes around us. Chalo, now see students changes around us. Since morning to evening, if you see, you can see so many things uh, which are changing around us, right? So in the morning, if you see, the morning if you see, you can see the sun in the east, and uh, the earth means the world around us will become bright, right? And uh, the temperature little cool, right? Now as the time is passing, when it reaches to the midday, then you observe that uh, sun is at that exactly. Our head perpendicular to us, okay, and uh, we can see that uh, the light uh, from the sunlight is very hot, so bright, and we feel some hot and we switch on the fans, and of course AC is also right. And then it comes to the evening, you can see that sun will be in the west, and you can see the color of uh, sky; it becomes light orange, red in color, and after some time. then sunset then you can see it becomes dark okay then it becomes night right and you'll happily you sleep okay so this is changes you are observing in every day now let's come to the other changes now for example you are moving to the school every day so generally you might have seen one when you are uh, okay academic year starts like in the month of june when you start going to school at that time you might have seen there is some tree some plant which is which was very small right now after this is what november in the month of november if you see that plant eh, then what happens the plant is grown up yes or no the plant is little bigger why to the plant think about yourself now you are in 6th class right so you are in 6th class means you are might be this height this height so almost you are full to four and a half feet height okay you might be now when you are in the 5th class or 4th class um were you with the same height no at that time you are smaller right now you are like 4 feet or 4 and a half feet okay and before that you may be 3 feet only before 2 years before 2 years like this okay so when you are born at the time in the lkg nursery you are very small now you have grown up so that's also change is taking place right now similarly now i think uh, your class is running up to 7 or 7:15 7:30 now after the class we are going to home then i hope uh, i think that your parents while receiving you they might be uh, bringing some sweaters to you yes sweater because now it is uh, we are in winter season right so just before 3 2 months back also there was a rainy season okay and after 4 or 5 months or 5 months eh? then what it will come summer holidays enjoy okay so here 
the seasons also change right so in the summer it will be very hot and in the rainy season always the rain okay and everything wet and welcome to the winter season it's cool right so like this changes so so many changes are taking around us if you observe so there's all the things you know no but still here there is a topic we are explaining you are a genius sir okay you know each and everything but only the thing is that we are explaining just in some systematic way clear so now listen carefully so the changes around us so just why i told you that so many changes so these changes are classified in different ways changes are of different ways now once if you see if you have a material you can see the classification of changes okay so what are the classification of changes how many types of changes are there let us see now first uh, slow and fast reactions are first slow and fast changes okay so classification of changes classification of changes right so in that uh, how many types of changes are there the first one slow and fast changes right now second one what is the second one reversible and irreversible reversible and irreversible okay and third one what desirable and undesirable okay fourth one periodic and non periodic okay and fifth one is physical and chemical changes okay students so now we can see here there are um, almost five types of changes are there okay like uh, changes or five types are there they discuss five types of changes one is called slow and fast second one reversible irreversible third one desirable undesirable fourth one periodic and non periodic fifth one physical and chemical changes right now let's say about the first slow and fast reaction slow and fast reaction slow reaction since what uh, which are taking some years which may take some months which may take some days which ones which can take some hours also which can which can take some minutes also they are generally we can say like a uh, slow reaction only and fast reaction means what uh, which can take place immediately okay so they are called as a fast reactions or fast changes right so slow changes and fast changes right now so which are taking slowly so that is called as a slow changes now till now i discussed so many slow changes only uh, because uh, if you see your height just how i said you about your growth your height uh, so here now for example okay 4 or 5 feet and uh, now you see here in sixth class means what you are completed 10 years and you are almost 11 year running i think so so to grow to 4 uh, to 5 feet it took 11 years time to how many years 11 years time take to so the meaning is what it's a slow reaction so it's a slow change yes or no you are slowly growing you are not growing fastly okay for example you plant some tree within one year it will go certain height okay at least about two year level comparing to okay so but you are taken like how many years uh, 11 years means 10 years or to 11 years to reach your height yes or no so the meaning is what um, your changes in height um, is a type of slow changes right so similarly now uh, you can take like you know iron nail you know the rusting okay so rusting you know i think everyone should know about the rusting right so the rusting what we do for example you can see the windows okay which are made up of iron iron grills iron gates can you see so these iron grills and iron uh, 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 doors windows and grills uh, 
here when you purchase it one when you fix the uh, iron uh, so at the time how it will be they will be very shiny right and you fix the gate or windows or something and after uh, few months if you see they get rusted okay so how many days should it take uh, it will take some days or some months so these are also comes under the slow changes okay now for example just now it also discuss about the summer winter and this all so this also slow only it's taking like a three years okay uh, sorry three months uh, or four months uh, to change from one season to other season okay so these all are examples for the okay slow changes okay which are taking place slowly they are changing so they are called as the slow changes and what are the fast changes fast changes means what immediately which can take place for example if you take the matchstick and just uh, okay um, light it so it will take within seconds right now similarly you can take one uh, diwali okay recently diwali has gone so i have taken the deepavali crackers right so like lakshmi bomb sutali bomb so many bombs you have taken okay i don't know the remember names sir but okay when i was small at that time i used to use only two bombs one is called lakshmi one is called sutali but nowadays so many bombs are there right so when you uh, crack the bomb okay just you light it uh, then what happens within seconds uh, it will blast yes so this is a fast change so fast change is what which changes within seconds uh, such reactions are considered such changes are considered as a fast reactions and which are taking days hours months uh, years uh, they are considered the slow reactions okay so once you uh, see change uh, students here slow and fast uh, changes some changes are very fast these changes occur within seconds or minutes okay example for the fast changes are like uh, bursting of balloon burning of matchstick burning of uh, cracker lighting of electric bulb these all are taking within seconds if you just switch on just switch on and see before seeing only that light will glow okay so very fast it's changing right as slow reactions you see so many things are there germination of the mustard seed so seeds germinating it will take slowly and ab big grows into adult yeah you are also example and rusting of iron okay and changing the milk into curd also it will take 4 to 5 hours okay so of course nowadays uh, microwave ovens are there in which um, within half an hour the curd also baking okay that is also comes under the okay slow changes clear to you so these are the examples for the slow and fast changes now then come to the reversible and irreversible reversible means what uh, reverse which can come back to their original state okay so which uh, irreversible means what uh, which does not comes uh, again back to its original state they are called the irreversible for example see students here mm, okay for example you take water okay you take the water what is the state of water liquid state right now this liquid water you freeze it okay in the refrigerator then what happens uh, it turns into ice so here what's happening the liquid is changing into the solid ice means what solid liquid is changing into the solid right now this uh, once if the liquid is changed into the solid does this ice continuously remain in the ice as a solid only no if you once if you bring out of the refrigerator again it comes back to its uh, original state okay so this is a reversible again coming to the liquid state again it becomes a water okay so for some time only it is being in that stage Uh, in that state, uh, means solid state to uh, liquid state to solid state. Again, if you change the condition, again it comes to its original state. So this is called uh, reversible. Reversible means what? Uh, again, come back. Okay. For example, you are going to school in the morning. Okay. Is it reversible or irreversible? Reversible. So you sit at the school for uh, till evening, till completing the classes. After completing the classes, again you go back to your school. sorry house right so again you are going back to your home so your permanent place is what home right so in the morning you are coming to school after completing the class classes again you going back to the house only so like that so here water is a liquid and if you freeze it it becomes a solid again if you bring out of the refrigerator it becomes again liquid so it can be changeable right for example you see now this is a winter season okay so generally you will apply the oil to the hair i don't apply but okay okay generally children will apply the coconut oil to the 
okay here in the morning if you see sometimes nowadays okay during the winter season then you might have observed that um, that oil becomes solid okay it looks like a ghee dalda okay like why it is solid yes or no then it will not come from the bottle then what you do you go and uh, slightly heat it or you put in the under the sunlight so then what happens um, it melts again it becomes a coconut oil yes or no okay so coconut oil it's becoming like a solid it's becoming like hard and again you melt it uh, again coming to its uh, original state right so this is called a uh, reversible okay irreversible means what uh, means once if it is converted again it cannot come back to their original state right for example okay for example you think um, okay like a, a simple example you can see if i have one paper paper okay you burn the paper burn the ha huh. so we are discussing about what a desirable and undesirable desirable means what um, which um, are useful to us okay which we feel pleasure okay so that's called a desirable fruits ripening that's desirable the change is taking place that is desirable because if they are not ripened so we can't eat them right so these are comes under the milk turning into curd that's also desirable right so these are the desirable and desirable is what uh, which we don't wish okay so like you know global warming you know that global warming okay so do you know the global warming yeah you know global warming you are very intelligent but when i when we were like in the 6th class we didn't know about the global warming okay but you people now 3rd 4th class onwards you are knowing the global warming okay so due to global warming that is uh, undesirable actually we don't want that but global warming here it's uh, taking place and you know day by day temperature is increasing pollution is increasing and you know ozone holes are forming and a lot of uh, harmful things are going on right now this uh, this is comes under the undesirable right now for example just want to tell you that the forming of rust forming of rust is also undesirable okay so if you government is spending so much time or so much uh, money you know okay so much uh, money to construct the uh, bridges uh, roads uh, railways this all things but what's happening they are getting rusted and they are after few years they are getting collapsing maintaining it becoming a horrible okay to the government uh, right so this all are comes under the non desirable which we not required okay they are harmful we don't wish that but still that the changes are taking place such a desire change for undesirable now then come to the periodic and non periodic 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 meaning is what uh, after regular interval interval means what a gap okay after regular gap of a particular gap if that happens then that's called a uh, periodic changes like summer okay the summer winter and the rainy okay and uh, you wish okay out of these three seasons which you, you like uh, summer season right because so many holidays you there happily sit at home and enjoy with the friends making a tours with the parents and going to grandmothers and grandfathers houses okay and you are enjoy a lot so i hope that you love the summer right so me also okay me to love the summer so summer is a uh, uh, one season so uh, again uh, once the summer holidays are completed you think okay again summer holidays when it comes back after one year right so again next year the summer holidays will come and that also complete again next summer holidays when it will come again after one year okay so there is some particular gap is there right so every year in the month of may we are getting the holidays after holidays schools are reopening in the june again we are getting the holidays in the month of may okay so after 11 months as a 12th month next year all days are going to be coming same thing okay of course there are some special conditions out there like corona if corona also will be there then uh, we have holidays but that is don't consider that okay so that's about the periodic periodic means what which changes which uh, changes occurs at a regular interval okay so that is called as a periodic changes example is given here swinging of pendulum clock phases of moon you know that phase of moon also okay so new moon and full moon of every 50 days and changes of season okay the change just i told you the season will be changes these are the periodic and non periodic means what uh, when they happen we don't know right for example earthquakes when it comes we don't know and landslides falling leaves on trees rusting of iron articles sneezing coughing this all comes under the non periodic changes is this clear to you okay so that is about the first synopsis immediately go to the second synopsis also 
okay that is physical change and chemical change so student this is very very important topic so in terms of we are discussing about the chemistry in terms of chemistry the physical change and chemical change yes okay it's a very very important and it comes in your next year classes also so it's uh, necessary to understand these all changes are regular general but these changes okay it's a part of the chemistry so that's what now we are going to discuss about the physical and the chemical change so students now see a physical change and a chemical change right so physical change and the chemical change right so here what i do is i'll explain in like a table okay so that you can understand very easily physical change physical change means what huh? if the changes if the change in physical properties only physical properties properties such as uh, state okay shape size etc okay if the change is taking place uh, in terms of state shape and size etc in the physical properties only changes then that's called uh, okay physical properties state just i give an example for example if you take the water that water is in liquid state state means don't think that telangana and andhra pradesh like this water so if the state means water it's a physical state so here if there is a change in the state so liquid state to solid state okay water is converting from liquid state to solid state so again if i bring out of the refrigerator again it comes to liquid state only if i boil the water water will be converting into vapor state right so gaseous state if i condense them means what again if i cool the vapor again it comes into liquid state yes so only there is a change in the state okay now for example if you want to come to the shape uh, you have a sponge you think what do you have sponge so sponge is in rectangular shape like you no know, cuboid shape cuboid you know okay cuboid shape now sponge in the cuboid shape now what i do i apply the force and i crush it okay i crush it okay then what happens uh, the shape becomes small now i release my force then what happens can it come back to its original state yes it come back to its uh, original state right so that is shape size similarly size also like balloon is there okay and just i apply some force not much force it break uh, so i take some force so what happens i can change its shape again if i release it again it becomes big okay so if there is only change in physical properties like state shape size etc then that is called a physical change that's called what a physical change so in the second point what we come to know here is there is no change in the composition otherwise you can write uh, no new substance is formed no new substance okay is formed here okay means what if you take the water and if you freeze it uh, even after freezing also that remains like water only okay the composition remains the same means no change in the composition you know the actually water formula okay no change in composition okay so you know how the water is made up of water formula is h2o i think you might have studied in the language of chemistry okay so water formula is what h2o it's made up of two hydrogens one oxygen right now if this water i'm putting in the refrigerator it becomes ice if i check the ice what is the formula of ice uh, h2 only okay because that's a form of water that's only water only the state is changed means what uh, no new substance is forming and no change in the composition okay no new substance is forming here and no change in the composition right so this is and next one is what uh, these are uh, reversible reaction the reversible changes mostly they are what are reversible changes uh, mostly they are reversible reversible means what uh, again come back to their original state 
like water converting into ice, ice is converting into water, original state, reversible. Okay. And next one important point is that, um, okay, the next one is uh, reversible is done, no? reversible and the temporary, temporary change. Temporary means what? Uh, temporary means what? Only for some time. Temporary, temporary means what? Only for some time, not much more time. Okay. So, these are the physical changes. Okay. So, physical changes example I said, you know, like water converting into ice. Okay, if I cool it, it becomes into ice and uh, if I heat it, uh, otherwise I heat uh, it will convert into water. On heating, water can convert into vapor, okay, vapor, right. Now, here again cooling vapor convert into water, water convert into ice, okay. So, this is on heating, this is on cooling, okay. So, these are called um, physical change. Now, chemical change is what means? If there is a change in both the physical and the chemical properties, so see uh, what is the written here change in physical properties. No. Now, here we will see change in both the physical and the chemical properties, change in both the physical okay, and the chemical properties, both changes chemical properties. Okay. Just now it said that milk, milk can be converted into curd. So, will the properties of the milk and the curd same? No. Once if you taste the milk, uh, milk will be check the taste of milk and check the taste of curd. Do you find the same thing? No. So, there is a chemical change. Okay. So, chemical properties. And here what is happening? See, uh, no new substance is forming, but there milk is converted into curd. Means what? Uh, a new substance is forming here new substance uh, is uh, formed, right? And uh, no change in composition, but there is a change in composition, okay? So, there is a change in composition. Okay? And uh, for example, I said you that, for example, take the paper and the paper if you burn, then what happens? It turns into ash. Can you change the ash again into paper? No. Right? So, the meaning is what? Uh, it is a uh, irreversible reaction. What it is? Uh, irreversible. Okay. And here it is what? The permanent change. Permanent uh, change. Means what? Once it is change, change. So, so many examples we can give students here. Iron converting into iron will be converted into rusting. Yes. Can you again rusted iron can you convert it make into the iron? No. You eat the food that food is get digested in our stomach. Can you convert again the digested food into normal food? No. Once you take the raw rice and cook it and make the meal, can you make that meal again into the raw rice? No. If you take the custard apple, just now I told you that that is if it is okay and ripen and after that it get into ripe and becomes a sweet fruit, can you convert into a bag? No. So, all these are the examples of what chemical changes. So, during the chemical changes what happens? There will be change in the physical property, there is a change in the chemical property and here new substance are forming, right? And the change in composition is also taking place and they are irreversible, we cannot take back and these are the permanent changes. So, all these things um, are examples for the chemical change. Okay, students. So, these are the changes around us. In total, five types of changes we discussed. And this all you know actually, everything you know, but just you are studying under some, uh, based on some characteristics. Is this clear to you? So, with this we stop and you practice this uh, questions back set. So, very simple, nothing, no numericals or nothing is there. So, it is very simple practice this in the next class we are going to start the third chapter that is atomic structure very very important chapter okay till then that's bye take care of yourself and keep studying okay then bye